Does the deep blue sea scare you? It surely scares us. There are a lot of things we don't know about the majestic sea. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the scariest sea creatures you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Believe it or not, there are a lot of stories surrounding sea creatures. Despite the Earth being 71% water, only 5% of it has been chartered and discovered. It may be a calmy place, but you have to admit, whatever lurks in it can give us quite a scare. After all, the ocean is filled with strange and not just slightly scary creatures. And in today's The Bestest episode, we get to know the scariest sea creatures. At number one, we have the sheep's head. This is one creature you never notice. As a popular catch in the Gulf of Mexico and the West Atlantic, this makes them a common sight in fish markets and restaurants. The sheep's head has its own horrible secret. It has a row after row of bizarrely human-like teeth. That's not all. It has a freaky smile that's guaranteed to creep you out. In reality, sheep's head are shellfish specialists who use their powerful jaws to crush their prey's armor. We highly recommend you staying away from this scary creature. What do you think of the sheep's head? Does it scare you enough? There are a lot of other creatures to watch out for, so stay tuned till the end of this video. At number two, we have the anglerfish. They are commonly known as sea devils. The anglerfish is basically a horror story waiting to happen in the deep, dark sea since they lurk at the bottom of the sea while they wait for unsuspecting prey to come their way. Due to their big mouths, they can eat fish that are almost as big as they are. They even inhale their meals whole, and when they're too big, they tear them using their long, pointy fangs. It'd be best to avoid them, but the glowing fishing rod thing that hangs in front of their mouths just makes it a little bit harder to resist them. At number three, we have the blobfish. We know this fish to be the ugliest fish in the world. Damn! It has a large nose and sad droopy frown, which makes you feel like you're looking at a nightmare. However, the blobfish also somehow made it as a pop culture phenomenon. The blobfish has its own memes and even own set of merchandise ranging from plush toys to keychains. Eventually, you'd realize this fish isn't supposed to look like this. They have gotten so used to living deep underwater that they have no bones and are only being held together by the force of the water. Sometimes their bodies even melt once they reach the surface due to the lack of pressure. At number four, we have the frilled shark. If ordinary sharks already scare you, then good luck when you see a frilled shark. They are the last of an ancient family which date all the way back to the Jurassic. Although we know very little about these creatures, we do know enough to stay away from them. They hunt by floating silently in the water, then coiling their bodies and lashing out like a snake. Imagine a shark with snake-like capabilities. And if you thought that was the worst part, wait till you hear about its 300 barbed backward-facing fangs that funnel food into its mouth. Once you get caught, there's no way you're getting away. At number five, we have the Northern Stargazer. They consist of a family of the fish named for their upward-facing eyes. Since they live all over the world, including along the east coast of the United States, most people know that they are venomous, predatory, and all-around unpleasant. It's one fish you wouldn't want as a pet. This may not look so bad, but these creatures are ambush hunters. They bury themselves in the sand with just their eyes poking out until a fish swims their way. 
the Northern Stargazer makes for a perfect horror movie monster. Nothing like a little jump scare to shock people out. Alright, now that we're halfway through our episode, were you scared with any of these creatures we mentioned? Highlighting what makes them scary is more than just a reason for us to avoid them. It's basically a matter of life and death. And these creatures absolutely find ways in being able to lead us to our death or maybe even just near it. At number 6, we have the Payara. It is a creature that's found in the remote areas of the Amazon basin. The Payara is a predator which regularly eats fish half its size or even bigger. What makes them scary is the fact that these creatures can still hunt in fast currents. Aside from that, they also show up anywhere, from small streams to open lakes, and wherever they go, they're always at the top of the food chain. It's also a great time to tell you that these creatures are related to popular river monsters like piranhas and tigerfish. Just goes to show how scary the payara can be with relatives like that. They're also strong and very aggressive, which makes them popular game fish. The payara is also a type of dog-toothed tetra and is more commonly known as vampire fish. With their 6-inch teeth and their hidden fangs, it's no wonder they're known as vampires. At number 7, we have the blue-ringed octopus. This creature isn't as intimidating like the rest of the creatures in this episode. Its vibrant blue rings are even considered beautiful. These creatures are usually found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. What makes it creepy is the fact that they're highly venomous and even release tetrodotoxin when threatened. That makes death certain in a mere 4-6 to six hours. And that toxin is enough for the blue ringed octopus to make it into this episode. At number 8, we have the sarcastic fringe head. It's a creature that looks cute at first. However, the sarcastic fringe head is territorial and extremely aggressive. They also live in small holes and hollows in reefs. The sarcastic fringe head spends most of their time with just their head poking out. When something gets too close, they burst out and chase it out of their turf. It's also a creature with no fear since they're known to attack creatures much bigger than them. Humans even get harassed by these creatures while diving around reefs. Aside from that, this fish also envelopes fishes and crustaceans whole. It even tries to swallow a whole octopus once or twice. This is definitely another horror story just waiting to happen. At number 9, we have the lamprey. Lampreys are among the scariest and worst predators underwater so far. These ancient creatures are hardly and incredibly versatile. They thrive in salt water or fresh water, lakes or rivers, shallows or depths. Lampreys even climb waterfalls as they head inland to mate. These prey on fish and suck the life out of them like a vampire, then leave them around. They have also attacked swimmers too. As if that wasn't enough, they also secrete anticoagulants or blood thinners. That's just how horrible and terrifying they are. Well, we've seen some of the scariest sea creatures. Since we're almost at the end, it's probably safe to say now we know how most of them live and capture prey. Knowing these would also help us in making sure we do our best to avoid them. And it's now time to get back to this episode. At number 10, we have the Goblin Shark. This fish basically screams insanity. It has a long nose, which gives off a hellish unicorn look. Damn! The goblin shark also has a pink flesh, which makes it look like it has no skin. This is also the biggest fish in this episode so far. It maxed out up to 13 feet until they discovered a giant female goblin shark measuring up to 20 feet in the Gulf of Mexico. The good news is that they are slow swimmers, so they don't chase down their prey. However, they hang silently in the water and use their noses to sense the prey's electrical waves. Once a prey gets close enough, their jaws catapult right out of their mouth and snap shut. 
either slicing into it or devouring them whole. It's the perfect combination of everything that makes the ocean scary. We've heard of a lot of legendary creatures that reside under the sea. The Kraken and the Colossal Squid are just a few of those legendary creatures. There are stories that we continue to use as part of books, films, video games, even until today. Imagine what other ideas storytellers can come up with as soon as they hear about these creatures. What creature do you think makes a perfect creature for monster films? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell icon to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.